guys, it's Renee from Rev Evolution. We're down here at the Singapore Design Center. If anything, 2020 has taught us, especially with COVID-19 hitting us, is the fact that Singapore should have its own local produce, and especially with the government's plan to go green by 2030. We're here to check out Just Produce while producing their vegetables through the use of hydroponics. Hey guys, it's Renee from Rev Evolution. We're here uh, at the Design Center Singapore to find out more about Just Produce. Okay, these guys basically grow their plants indoors and some really great vegetables as well, which I had a chance of tasting. I'm here with Amy. She's going to tell us a bit more about Just Produce and how they grow their vegetables uh, using uh, hydroponics. Hi Amy, thanks for joining us here on Rev. So Amy, tell me more about the whole process on how you guys uh, grow these beautiful vegetables uh, uh, right here in Singapore. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Renee. So as uh, Renee mentioned, we are Just Produce, a home grown brand in Singapore. We don't use any pesticide, GMO or preservatives to grow our vegetables indoors. And how do we grow our vegetables? Everything is hydroponically, which means we don't use any uh, soil and uh, we are much more sustainable than traditional farming where we use less water and um, also um, more sustainable in other ways. And you can also taste it's very flavorful. Um, a lot of people think that you know salads are very bland, uh, but uh, our products uh, all have different flavors from spicy that tastes like wasabi, from sorrel which is lemony, and we also have uh, the famous ice plant which is very salty. So yeah, it grows in this little farm here. You can see a mini farm. Where, um, as mentioned, we grow hydroponically, we use LED uh, lighting for the, to grow. And within four weeks, uh, yeah, people can just walk it straight from the park and uh, purchase it and uh, directly consume it. Yeah, I think uh, what I think the people have the misconception, a couple of misconceptions about uh, hydroponic plants. One thing is that you know because it's not grown in soil, you kind of lose all the nutrients that the soil provides you because you know, you're grown indoors. So you know that's one of the things that you worry about. So if I buy my vegetables, but it doesn't have that feel or, or taste or real or vegetables because it's not as I said not grown in soil. And the other fact that I think that uh, with hydroponic plants, I think it's a bit more costly. So I think that's also another kind of stumbling block that people might have when they want to buy hydroponic plants. And so yeah, so. Um, so tell us more about the whole process, once again, about roughly how it works, uh, yes. how the plants actually grow. Yes, that's, so that's a great question, uh, Renee. I think a lot of people have the misconception right. that it um, takes a lot more energy because we use electricity and LED lighting, but now with the new uh, uh, types of technology, everything is much more sustainable. Um, and uh, for instance, this farm uses less energy than a your fridge at home. Really? So okay. it's very sustainable and energy saving to have this actually in uh, your place. Can I give it at home? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we supply very Oh, you do? Okay, yeah, okay. So I you're going to be very right. nutritious. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in terms of uh, how was that growing? You're saying that, so how long does it take for me to grow from, say, a seedling or, a, in a, or for to grow from to this, uh, to this length? Bring using hydroponics. Yeah, so there are three steps in growing vegetables. Like I always compare it when you have a baby's uh, phase where they are still a seed and they have to sprout. So that is why they, you have to take a lot of care and you have to grow them in a dome. And uh, when they sprout it, they will go to the nursery area. So the sprouting takes around a couple of days, five days. And the sprouting at the nursery area, the second phase, they are teenage phase. So they will put there to get a little bit more attention for the teenagers. And when they are grown up, we will put them in this this uh, tower. So we see these are towers and we put them in there. So in total, it takes around four to five weeks. Four to five weeks? Yeah. Okay, so I was thinking, yeah, so the thing is, so there's actually different stages grow. Yeah. So I thought everything just grows from here. So we actually grow them in stages, from, as, I, as I mentioned, from a seed and then all the sapling and then the, the stage. Yes, yes. Right, okay. Correct, correct. So can we go see that? Uh, how the plants actually look? Yeah, 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 sure. So maybe I could open this door. So uh, yep, sure. we're going to open it. Yeah. As you can see, there are different towers, and each tower we put the head of the crop in the uh, in between the substrate. So the substrate acts like the soil where the uh, uh, roots can attach and get the nutrients. From, 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 from the water that you Yeah, the nutrient okay. media. So it's not just water, it's like also nutrients in it. All the nutrients that a plant needs to get the right uh, nutrients and also the rest of the world. 
Right, so over here, just please, how many kinds of vegetables, vegetables you guys actually produce? Yeah, so we have different types of crops. We have a total 10 different crops right. uh, from different lettuces, green lettuces, red lettuces. We also have some specialty greens, uh, so um, such as the red lemon one, the wasabi one, from the mustard. So, 10, yeah. so it's, all, it's all greens, no fruit at all, right? It's all plants, right? I mean uh, vegetables, right? Currently, no, currently, currently yes. at the moment we focus wow. on greens. But in our farm, we can grow everything. We have an R and D facility. We also do uh, grow like uh, grapes, um, tomatoes, and that kind of stuff. Uh, that's still an R and D development. Yeah. So once again, we want to thank Amy uh, for giving us all the information right here about all the production. I just produced. Thanks again, Amy, for uh, being here on Rev Evolution. Before I sign off, let's all go green by aiming for zero food wastage and also bringing your own bags when you do grocery shopping.